Clean water. What can we do to protect the water we drink and the rivers and lakes we swim in? Next week is World Water Day. Miss Sanchez told her class one cold March morning. We are going to celebrate the importance of clean water. Until then, we'll be talking and thinking about why we need to keep our water clean. And we'll be making posters to tell why clean water is important and posted them all around the school. Does anyone have an idea of what these posters could show and say? Dirty water makes you sick if you drink it, Tanya said. Fish can't live in dirty water, Martin said. It's not healthy to swim in yucky water, Lucy said. Or fun, Joe added. We need clean water because... Shani hesitated. She wanted to say another reason, but she couldn't think of anything at all. Shani's class discussed clean water every day, and every night Shani tried to think of something to draw. There were so many reasons to keep the water clean. Each night she thought she had a great idea, but in the morning she changed her mind. While she was thinking, she sipped a glass of clean water. She thought about the pollution the nearby factory cost. That factory is going to pollute our beautiful river, her mother said at least once a day. They are dumping things into the water and destroying it. In a year or so, we won't be able to swim or fish there. Many fish will die, and the rest of the fish will be too contaminated for us to eat. I'll draw a picture of fish in a polluted river, Shani decided. Or maybe I'll draw a picture of the factory. Or maybe I'll draw something else. Shani and her mother looked on the internet and read about the factory. The factory was pumping even more wastewater into their river than they had first thought. I guess I was wrong, Shani's mother said. I thought it would take a year to destroy our river. Now I see it won't take that long at all. Our class should write letters to that factory, Shani said. The next day, Shani informed her class about the factory. I think we should write letters, she said. To the factory, someone said. To the mayor, someone said. To the newspaper, someone said. Stop polluting our river, Shani said. The class spent the afternoon writing letters. Miss Sanchez mailed them after school. That night, Shani thought about her picture. She wanted to draw something, but what? She decided to ask her grandfather. Shani's grandfather lived in Kenya, which is a country in Africa. Shani and her family had visited him last year for his 70th birthday. They gave grandfather a computer, so now it was easy to chat with him. Maybe grandfather could suggest something to draw. Shani looked at the clock. It was eight hours later in Kenya, so Grandfather would be sleeping now. If she sent him an email, he could read it when he woke up. Dear Grandfather, I have to draw a picture showing why the world needs clean water. Do you have any ideas? Shani woke up early the next morning and turned on the computer. There was an email from Grandfather. Dear Shani, Clean water is a big problem all around the globe. Here in Kenya, we understand how important it is. I have a well that gives me clean water, but most people do not have the money to build one. We worry about the animals, too. Zebras, lions, elephants, Tigers and giraffes find fewer and fewer clean watering holes. Animals like people need clean, healthy water, or they will get very sick. 
Good luck with your picture. The whole world needs clean water. We must all work together to solve the water problem. Love, Grandfather. Shani now had an idea for a memorable picture. She used a pencil to sketch her drawing, and that night she colored it in. On World Water Day, the whole school was decorated with colorful posters. Shanice was hanging right up front, next to the newspaper articles and letters from the mayor, the factory owner, and all the people who loved the beautiful river.